In this movie, we're going to show how we could take a larger um, relief, a 3D relief, and split it up into a smaller plate size. And for this example, uh, I'm going to say I wanted to do a, a panel, let's say a 3D textured panel, and our panel is going to be uh, 24 by 3 inches wide and 36 inches tall. All right, and I have my plate size set to that same same amount here of 72 by 36. Now, um, let's say I wanted to create the size panel, but I only had a small table that would cut a two by three size. So uh, what I would do is come here, first of all, let's create a, a flat, no thickness relief, and uh, let's apply a 3D texture to it. Uh, let's come here maybe to uh, one of the new flow textures. And let's scale this down a little bit. All right, and we're going to hit apply. And once we have this done, we're going to have a uh, actually a height of 1.75 here. I'm going to make that a little bit shorter, smaller than the Z, and uh, in the right panel size. So let's come to the side here, select this part, hit F2 bring up the precision input center, uncheck proportionally, and now we're going to make this 0 0.06, let's say. We're going to use a material thickness here of 0.75, and so now then we'll take this and, and uh, we would move this into the plate. But first we're going to go through the process of paneling this job. And, if you look at this, we can see we just have this nice flowing texture here. So uh, what I would do now, if I want to break this up into three separate smaller jobs, I'm going to actually start a new layer here. And I'm going to create a part that's going to be the size of my panel. So I'm going to say 24 by uh, 36 inches tall. And now, you know, if, if my panels were going to be unique sizes, it doesn't have to be a rectangle. It could be really any size relief you could add this to, but for the purpose of breaking this particular job up, I'm going to do three columns, and I'm going to have no spacing, and they're going to be side by side, and I'll hit apply. So now I have three reliefs that, that would each be its own individual panel, and uh, as I said, if we wanted to make something a little bit even more unique here, you could use, uh, you can create the panels to be any size you want. Uh, so here, if I use the jigsaw tool, I could create a, a number of unique panel shapes. Um, but I really don't want to do that here. I'm just going to use this, this three big two foot by 36 inches tall panels, two foot by three foot. So uh, now I'm going to come here and apply a flat, no thickness relief. Uh, then I'm going to come here and select one of these. And actually, I can leave any of these on here. And I'm going to go to merge. Tells me to select the base relief, which is right here. Select the relief you want to add. Now I'm going to turn on all reliefs and click in the same area there. And I'll say add. So I'm adding what was on that whole relief just to this relief in this one part. Okay, and so if we see this here, I can see I've added that. Now I might even go here and go so far as to <clears throat> create uh, some new layers here. So this is currently in layer two. Let's move this to layer three. Let's select this one and move this to layer four. All right, so here's layer one. Now we're gonna go here, select this, and go back to merge reliefs. Select the base relief, which is right here. And then I'll just turn on all the reliefs again. And I know if I click on the same area, it's gonna select the other relief and I hit add. Now I'll turn off all layers and just my active layer here has this part. Now I'll go to my layer four, select this one, go to merge reliefs. Here's the base relief, show everything. Click on that same area again to get the, the bigger relief, hit the green check mark. So now I have uh, three separate reliefs and I've used the, 
the ability to merge reliefs to break this apart into three panels. We have panel one, panel two, and panel three. And this will all three together come to form this part. Uh, and it would even be possible now, you know, if I had a, a slight ability to slightly oversize this, when it comes time to cut this, uh, when I create the panels, I might go a little bit bigger so that then I could come and trim away the excess and make sure that I have a smooth join from one panel to the next. So, so in reality, when I come back here to this, to this first panel, instead of doing this size, I might come here and offset this by um, 0.125 to the outside, or maybe even go a quarter inch. Let's exaggerate this a little bit and hit apply. Uh, and that way, when I come here, I'm gonna delete this one Uh, and I might even make that relief a little bigger to start with as well. But let's come here and select this outline now and make that our, our relief. So we'll come here and say uh, we want to apply relief, flat, no thickness. Now I'm going to merge reliefs. Here's my base relief. Show everything. Here's the other relief and green check mark. Okay, now uh, when I look at this, I actually have well, let's try this one more time, merge reliefs. Here's the base release. And Okay, so now I've oversized this a little bit, and I would now move this into the material to toolpath it. Uh, but when it comes time to cut it out, I will base it on this actual two by three panel, and uh, I will be actually trimming away the side here, and that'll just make it a little bit more accurate for joining purposes. So whenever possible, you wanna overshoot that amount by a little bit and then trim it back to its original size. And now I can just take this part and move it into the lower left-hand corner and toolpath it and then create the output for it. So um, so that's how you would go about taking a 3D relief and breaking it up into three panels from an XY or top view perspective. To uh, slice a relief from a horizontal view, you would use the slice toolpath option, or slice relief, uh, which is extract slices right here.